Hello everyone. Today is April 29th, 2020. This is MJ. So in the last video, we saw four commands. Um, four Unix command. The first one was, um, if I'm not wrong, mkdir followed by touch command then ls and ll so this is the part two of unix command and in this video we are going to see four more commands so let me do one two three four so five six seven eight so the fifth command is going to be pwd followed by cd then who am I and the last command will be who so let's dive in PWD so it stands for present working directory so it tells you which directory you are right on so to explain that let me draw the tree here that we had in the previous video so we had bin usr then inside that you had mj and inside mj we had sample dot txt which is the file or a leaf now let's say if i am at um, mj directory and i want to confirm whether that's true or not so on the command prompt i will just type pwd command and hit enter there are no extra arguments that you have to um, uh, provide with this um, command and it will just give you the output such as so let's say if i'm at mj directory it will give me output as usr mj slash usr slash mj which tells you that you are currently under root then there is a usr directory under root directory and there is mj directory under usr directory which is correct now if this command is clear we will go to the second command which is cd which stands for change directory now for some reason let's say if you want to go to usr command uh, usr directory or bin directory then you have cd command for that and the way this works is you just type cd give one space and then the desired directory that you want to go to so let's say if i want to go to bin it will not give me any output because that's a success so to confirm whether the directory was changed successfully or not i will again run pwd command and it will give me the output as slash bin I know it would have been easier to run these commands on the terminal radio but since we are keeping it low key and restricting ourselves to theoretical concepts only this is the best i could do my apologies for that after this we will move on to the last two commands for today so the seventh command is who am i so whenever you log into any system or terminal window you need a username and password so this command tells you your username username of current logged in user by current or by current or and logged in i means the the username with which you have logged in into the system again you don't have to pass any parameter you just type you who am i and press enter let's say your username is mj then it will give you output as mj uh, if your username is uh, user1 then the output will be user1 something like that and the last command for the day is who command this gives you list of all users who 
आर करंटली लॉग्ड इन टू द मशीन सो थिंक ऑफ इट थिंक ऑफ इट लाइक देर इज अ सर्वर ऑन विच पीपल और योर टीम मेट्स हैव टू वर्क सो देर इज अ बेटर चांस दैट मैनी पीपल विल बी लॉगिंग इन टू द सेम सिस्टम and if we want to know how many people or who are those people who have logged into your system or to the server system you just type who command and press enter and it will give you the list of all the users who are logged into that same system as you are user 1 user 2 user 3 and so on and so forth so the key difference between who am i and who command is if you run who am i command it will give you only mj as output but if you run who command it will give you all it will give you the output as mj and uh, all other users who are currently logged into the uh, same system that you are working on so i think um, uh, i was able to explain it correctly uh, uh, in order to recap things we saw four commands the i'll type it in the fifth sixth seventh and eighth so fifth command was pwd which gives me the current directory cd changes that directory then who am i gives me my current username and who command gives me all the users who are currently logged into the system so thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe and see you in the next video take care